Hello, ni hao everyone. Wish you have a great weekend, my friends. We are going to cook salmon today. Pan seared salmon, baked salmon, grilled salmon, and stir fried salmon. I have some rice cooking right here, and all my preparation is right there. Let's get busy. Zero zero start. We got this three fillet, beautiful salmon. Drizzle some extra virgin olive oil, so it's easier to cook. A pinch of salt, simple, basic ingredient, and pepper. And here we have the salmon for stir fry. Same thing, salt, extra virgin olive oil. Some pepper, and we're gonna add some cornstarch for binding. About a teaspoon or a couple of teaspoons will be okay. Just mix it up. Set on the side. Here's some vegetable for stir fry. I'm gonna show you a perfect Asian sauce to go with this fish. Fresh ginger. Wash it really good. We just give them a really fine julienne chop. Ginger is really good for you. Antioxidant. This is my weapon. And the garlic, fresh garlic. Trim up the end of the garlic and easier to peel. Garlic is a great antioxidant too for you. Smash it. See, the garlic just come out like this. This is very fresh garlic. Baby garlic. Those are the good food. Those are the powerful food for Pick a ball. Okay. Coarsely chop. We don't want the shell. Scrape it in. All right. Here we go. Base ginger and garlic. This is highly recommended. Sriracha or samba hot sauce. We got lots of great three, four different kind of fresh vegetable they grind it oh man those are good stuff and then light sodium soy sauce or regular soy sauce doesn't matter and then eyeball it okay everything's eyeball it poison sauce it's got a little nice sense of touch of the sweetness from the soybean just like that of course sesame oil roast this black sesame oil and you can make this dressing or sauce ahead of time and you can keep it in the fridge for dipping it's gonna be so easy to eat and so delicious you can dip with anything seafood or chicken or shrimp all right so we got ginger and garlic soy sauce hoisin sesame it's gonna be nice flavor now we're gonna add some cilantro i love cilantro or you can add green onion it's up to you you just Get them a more flavor, more texture. Everything is fresh. You want to eat real food, right? No process. Everything is good. Right here. Oh, love cilantro, the smell. Oh boy. Lime. A little bit of citrus. Save this one for your drink or martini. Ah, oh, like this. Ah. Oh. I already can smell. This is gonna be your base. Salmon fish. Great protein. Repair your muscle. Good vitamin B1 to 12. I just make it up. It's good vitamin B. Potassium. Oh yeah. Good saturated fat. We need good fatty protein. Right? Because sometimes you're on the tour for like eight to ten hours, four or five days straight. You need to rebuild your muscle and get good feel on your body. We gotta eat good. Brown rice, anything brown, 
oatmeal, bread, anything you like. Those are for carbohydrate for your energy. And then a good source of protein will be like chicken or fish, anything. And you need vegetable nutrition like that, right? This is good stuff. First, we are going to pan sear the fish. I got this, I'm gonna show you. Cast iron. Preheat the cast iron for a few minutes. Nicely warm. Put your palm right here, you can feel the heat. Right? You don't want to overheat it. Now we're gonna add some extra virgin olive oil, or you can just add butter. Anything you like. And here we have this beautiful salmon. We already seasoned it with salt and ground pepper and extra virgin olive oil. We're just gonna simply put it right here. That is the perfect seasoning sound you wanna hear. Of course, you might have to try a few times. If the sound's like doesn't mean too hot. You're gonna burn quick. We want to pinch sear Press at the bottom, brown, inner, the meat is nice and tender and juicy. Three to four minutes and flip on each side. Once you add in, hi Cooper. <laughs> Once you add in the salmon, no hurry up to flip it because the protein, when you get into the heat, they need some time to cook, to brown, and they will separate it easily. That is how you do it. So once you see the edging of the salmon start become pink, that means they are cooking good. I don't like my salmon overcooked. So you see now it's easy to scrape it out. Give them a quick flip. Just like that. Now I can tell the side meat of the salmon is seal in to that light pink, not instead of dark pink, that means it's done. If you have a denominator, you stick it into inner temperature. I like the 128, 130. They will tell you 140, 145. That's too overcooked for me. Because once I take the salmon out, they still carry on cooking for another eight to 10 degrees. So this is done. I'm turning it off. Put it right here. Now we're gonna move on to the next. Baked salmon is another method of cooking. Beautiful salmon, seasoned with salt, pepper, ground, um, the ground pepper and salt and garlic. If you want to have any other ingredient, go right ahead. Garlic powder, dill, whatever you think is good for you. So what I usually like to do, preheat my oven to 475, and I got this denominator. Once the temperature rises to 128, I'm going to take it out. This is the fun part. Stir fry. Basically stir fry, you want a medium high heat, frying pan, non-stick, or any kind of wok that you have. Same thing. Preheat the scallop for a few minutes. Extra virgin olive oil. For cooking oil. They're all good. Now we got this marinated salmon. We're just gonna add it one by one. The reason we're coating with the cornstarch is easier to cook. Has some sort of binding will protect the protein. It's not easy to break the fish. That's how you're gonna do it. Take about three to four minutes to kind of like saute the fish. Give them a quick look. Beautiful. You see the fish? They hold on together. They're not breaking. You want to get them like 60 to 70 percent cooked like this. It's good enough. We set on the side. Your frying pan is nicely hot. Asian cooking is about heat. Use a paper towel. Clean up, just like that. And we're using fresh oil. Ginger and garlic will be the base. 
basil. Get it in. Now, amazing, aromatic. Oh yeah. Once you add the ginger, garlic, and basil, oh my goodness. You're gonna cover all the pork, I guarantee you. I mean, boy, you're gonna have those speed coming up to you that you don't know what to do with that. Beautifully done, vegetable in. Any kind of vegetable that you have. All right, here I got celery, broccoli, asparagus. Vegetable, simple cooking, lightly crisp, not overcooked. Smell amazing. You want to make sure all through the cooking process is nice and sizzling dry, not wet. Wet means your frying pan is not high enough and the flavor is not going to be there. The heat created the flavor. Now we can add the salmon in. What kind of sauce you want to add in? It's up to you. You can get from the store bought or here I got some peanut grigio. Wine. Wine is infused the flavor, but make sure your frying pan is hot. Right, you see that? Soy sauce, any kind of soy sauce that you have. Add it in. Like that. Woo! Give them a quick stir. If you have oyster sauce, poison sauce, black bean sauce, you can add it right now. If not, Basically, this dish is done. Sesame oil is for fragrance. Make sure drizzle, not one or two teaspoon, tablespoon. That's too much. My friend, right here is done. As I said, I got some rice cooking. Baked salmon, 128 degree temperature in there. Perfect! Take it out. All the protein that you cook, after done, you gotta let them rest for a few minutes. So the tender, the juiciness inside the meat, they give you the texture and the binding. That's what chef make. So this is perfect. We take it out, put it right here. And now we go to grill. Grilling is my favorite thing to do all year long in Michigan, even the winter time. You want to make sure your grill is clean, nicely preheated. I added some spray pink powder. So give them a nicely oily spray pink powder will not stick on your protein. Simply just put the fish in. You want to hear the sizzle sound again too. Close it, medium heat, for about two to three minutes. And then flip it, simple as that. Make sure you use a spatula and scrape it down the bottom like this. Gorgeous. Close it. Cooking is like you have to play a few times to get to feel it, you know, you gotta feel the cooking. Close it down. I think it's done. The salmon is not very thick. Yeah, they come out very easily. Here we go. It's done. Okay, it's time to eat. Of course. Presentation is the key. Clean up, make it nice and pretty. And we have some rice. You can use brown rice or pasta. You want to have a nice, great, complex carbohydrate. So when you play, you can you gain your energy. You need a lot of carbohydrate. You burn so much few thousand calories, believe it or not, each day. This is just the sushi rice. So we have pan sears, we have bacon, we have grill, we have stir fry. Now, mm. 
you can carry on with sake or a nice glass of white wine see the sauce that we make just like that just like that if you want to add more add more stay healthy my friend here we go so my friend if you want me to cook anything for you just let me know facebook me look at this beautiful gorgeous huh i hope you enjoy the video i'm chef tom let's keep playing stay healthy friends and family number one see you later bye